Hello friends, my name is Dr. Sajdev. Working with Bootstrap is just fun. Today here, in this tutorial, I am gonna show you how we can create Jumbotron layouts. I will also show you how we can create some cool call to actions button in Bootstrap with some pre-inbuilt classes. Before we start, let me show you a a preview the things which we are going to learn in this tutorial. On the top, I have a Jumbotron, which is a pre-inbuilt class in Bootstrap to create Jumbotron layouts. And you will also find there are several buttons of various colors and sizes, which are also created with the inbuilt class in Bootstrap. So, I'll also show you how we can create this type of buttons and this Jumbotron layout in Bootstrap. So, let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6 and the document on which I'm going to work. I have created this document in my earlier tutorial. Here it is, apply Bootstrap, make web pages responsive very easily. So let me show you up the preview first. I have already divided it into rows and columns in my earlier tutorial. Now in this tutorial we will convert this top row in Jumbotron layout and you will find here I have certain links of read more. We will convert this link in some clickable buttons. I will show you how we can create this call to actions button in this bootstrap. Here in the last tutorial I have already linked up this bootstrap.css and bootstrap-theme.css in this document. So now let's proceed further. Here let me have div on which I will apply a class called Jumbotron and let me close this div also you can see inside h1 tag I have added something awesome collection for women's now let's save up this much and let's preview See, we have a Jumbotron layout here. You will also find when I will collapse my browser's window, this Jumbotron will behave responsive as our other rows and columns do in this web page. Let me show you up. See, our Jumbotron is behaving responsive. Now let's proceed to create some cool buttons. Now here on the link read more let's have a cool button with some inbuilt classes in bootstrap. Here after anchor tag let me have a class btn dash btn First, let's have a default button, btn default. Let's save it up. Now, let's refresh our page. See here, now we have a default button. It's a default button by Bootstrap. On the link, read more. Now, let's see further more classes. Here in column 1, Again, I have a link, read more. Now let's apply another button class to it. Class BTN. Now again, let's have BTN dash primary. Now let's save it up. Let's preview. 
this is our document now let me refresh see here now I have a blue color button when I have given a class primary to it now in column 2 in row second here is the link now let's add a class btn as we always have to mention now the class btn dash warning this will give us an orange color button I would also like to apply one more class to it with warning I would like to give a class btn dash lg now let's save it up let's preview this lg class is going to give us big button large button let me refresh see here now I have a large button orange colored now let's add a button to row third and column one here it is here is our link Let me have class btn btn dash success. Now with it I would like to add btn access which stands for extra small button now let's save up now let me refresh see here now I have a very small button which is in green color now let's add another button in the second column in row third here Here is the link read more let's add a class btn space btn dash danger now this danger is going to give us red button and let me also give a class btn dash block now this is going to occupy the whole block it is going to behave as a block button going to occupy the whole width of this column let's save it up let's refresh see we have a button which occupies our whole column now you can play more with this button also you will find the details on the official website of bootstrap getbootstrap.com here inside CSS tab when you will click button on the right side here you will have details and some more classes you can apply to your buttons the major classes is what we have discussed so you can go through all these classes and links and have more fun with these buttons. So this is done friends. If you like this video of mine, do thumbs it up. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Do not forget to subscribe me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.